Welcome to Fin Business. We are in conversation with Porto. Porto is one of the important company. It's established in Brazil 40 years back and they're providing important solutions for the BFSI sector. Today we have with us Roberto Bor, the president of the company. Sir, welcome to Fin Business. You are providing a lot of solutions to the ATM. So what is the trend right now that you see globally and specifically in India in ATM solutions? What kind of new products coming into the ATMs? Because the way the banking is growing, the number of ATMs are also growing. Obviously, there are multiple products which is catering the need of payments, but ATM has still become a traditional and important segment. So what kind of solutions are you providing for the ATM? We uh, have our own technology. We set up a factory here in Jaipur based in our experience from Brazil. So we also develop technology here in India, according to the Indian market. In this moment, uh, because, because these ATMs, all this change the market, the India have a, its own profile uh, requirements of equipments, that technology. We will develop products specific for Indian market. So because Indian market has more price sensitive, mm -hmm. and in this moment, they have a problems with security levels. Even the card, what we have here in India, you are not have MEV level two chip card, some things. So we integrate these new solutions in this ATM. Today we are offering the top configuration of the ATMs. So uh, our uh, equipment, when we compare the others, is a high specifications. So another feature that we provide in ATMs is we explore more facility in ATMs, like we have check printed dispensing, or you can dispense the DDs on demands or check the post and other features. Our strategy is develop equipments according to client requirements, okay? okay? So also we are developing equipments for rural area, which should be most area we growing in the Indian market. Uh, another segment what uh, is India is have now is replacement because many ATMs are not have the features uh, uh, what the bank requires or the international cards required. Uh -huh. So in this moment, we are concentrating in the market uh -huh. because the factory is inaugurated in October 2016 and they start production in April 2017, so a few months back. Uh -huh. So we first start to run the factory, produce, and then we like to expand in Asia, India, Asia market. How is the Indian market doing right now if you speak about technology, like you are a global player? What is the trend that you see globally and what is the trend that you are seeing in India right now? The, the big challenge here in the technology in the Indian market is price, price sensitive. So, uh, to, because we have, it, we have the international competitor, mm -hmm. so our solution is try to find the best security level in attack, in safety, uh, in attack the cards, mm -hmm. attack in transactions, attack the safe, attack the cash. Na? And we try to provide the best solutions in lower cost. Because our, our strategy also, uh, we produce the main components of the ATMs. So all these electronic logs, keyboards, everything we produce on itself. So we have all the technology in hands. Oh. So we can upgrade very easy to client and replace this according to technology evolutions. Oh. Uh, evolu when you change the uh, technology, you can upgrade the machines, something like this. And how is the trend right now in ATMs? Are the companies willing to adopt your technology or they want to go with the traditional models as well? Because, you know, the going ahead, you know, the bankers believe that the perhaps banking is important, not the banks. So, you know, the one ATM will be equal to one branch. Mm -hmm. the basically, they are trying to integrate a lot of systems into one ATM. It's not only a cash withdrawal machine yeah. right now. It's not only a cash deposit machine right now, but many things are being involved into it. So how are you enhancing your capacities and how, what kind of actually the advanced services that you're providing to a bank? Yes, it, it is a, to the bank accept new ideas, new technology, it should be work hard with the bank. Now, we have some banks who just starting to accept this technology. Now, uh, like we have a bank in Mumbai, who integrate all this facility I told you about the D checks. This is a very new technology, but the bank, is, we should be find the correct client hmm. to like to prove that the concept. What is not new in Brazil, have a thousand ATMs like this. The, what is all the technology that we use in Brazil, test in Brazil, we bring here hmm. to India. And uh, the, the, the banks, some banks are open to test, 
or to prove that the concept and other not. The big advantage that we have is as we have all the technology, so all the hardware and software is under our control. Mm. So we can provide to the bank, again, the solutions with easy integrations with what we have. Even we can write the software from the ATMs, also the software in the switch or the integrated in other systems. What is the demand for the ATMs from the banks? Okay. What exactly the BFS sector is looking for? The bank uh, uh, is looking for reliable equipment who can give you most transactions in lower cost. This is the third second. So, and again, in, on this segment, when we have the factory, we all produce all components. We produce from steel, we pick the steel up to final product. So, plastic, injection, cables, steel, welding. Thing. So, this cut the cost. And also, an advantage in this, our equipment is the maintenance. So, again, our maintenance is very low cost because you have all the components, you monitor all the components. So, and we uh, are changing the market because the market dominates from the international companies where they have some rules, but we don't agree. Okay. When we say rules, is increase the cost of the client and something policy we don't agree. So, we came here to the market and changed the policy about how you charge the client, how you give provide a service. So, and then uh, when you could look, the running cost on our ATMs is lower. No? That is, that is the bigger. What is your experience on Indian market right now? There are fintechs offering different kind of technologies in India. There are banks which are looking for great technologies right now. So, what is the trend compared to global? I mean, you you have a global expertise. So, if I take, if you try to, you know, match it. So what are the trends globally? What are the trends that is in India? India, India at this moment uh, have two types of demand of the equipments. One is the traditional cash dispenser, you know, everybody calls ATMs. Mm. When you go there, which, which to all the cash, it's okay. But also there are another demand about cash recyclers. When you put, you, know, you made a deposit and the other client came which draw your cash. These are big demand. No? Uh, but again, the most most part of the equipments are cash dispenser okay. and most of the equipment should be replaced with a new technology because the windows the security attacks so there are huge demand in the india market to replace what have exist and expand uh, when a recycler is to put a recycler a recycler have a some situation where is a the balance but you go inside the outside is okay then you can use recycler but most of the case, or you have a lot of deposit, you can not more deposit, or you have only which to cash. In this case, you don't have a which to cash. You use expensive machines to do uh, what a, a cheaper machine can do it. And then you cannot expand this type of machine in rural areas. Right. No, so it's very difficult. So in the market, again, have a huge demand. No? Uh, we think the demand is the double capacity that they have now. The ATM have around two, two lakhs ATMs mm -hmm. now. We estimate they have a capacity to four lakhs ATMs. Mm -hmm. yeah. On these two lakhs, at least 50% of what is installed should be replacement. Mm -hmm. And again, every seven years, around seven years, you have a replacement, the lifetime of the machine. Then you use again another expansion business. Yeah. So it's a continuous business. So what is your capacity right now and how can you expand it? Our uh, produce capacity now is uh, 500 machines per month, and we can produce 1,500 machines. Okay, we've increased the capacity, uh, increased the shifts. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, expand, uh, expand uh, at least a double capacity we have. So then can say can produce 3,000 machines per month is necessary. All right, Roberto, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you so much for those great insights. Thank you very much for your opportunity. Thank you so much for watching.